Takayo has something heavy on his mind. His childhood friend's breasts are way too big. Yo, it's me and today we'll be looking at It may be my fault that my childhood friend's breasts got bigger. It's obvious how others see her. But Takio can't see her in any improper way. Hanukkah suffers from frustration syndrome. It changes the body to a person's desire or dissatisfaction. If you're not happy with your height, you may grow. If you're not happy with your looks, you may get curves. Or if you suffer from MDFO, well, I guess you, whatever. Luckily, this isn't life threatening and it is also very common. It's from here that Takayo promises that he will protect her from anything. There's just one problem. He seems to have inappropriate thoughts of Hanukkah. One day, Takayo helps Hanukkah with eating her lunch. However, this is seen as not an act of childhood friends, but more like a couple. Hanukkah flustered but smiles, seems to want to say how she feels. When Takayo assures his classmates that they are not in a relationship, he explains with a troubled look that Hanukkah is more like family, and that looking at her in any other way would be absurd. That wasn't too bad. It's a boob eruption. Hanukkah cries that Takio only sees her as a friend with big boobs. Of course, he doesn't take the hint and says something stupid. <laughs> Hanukkah now has transformed into a monster with numerous arms, eyes, mouths, and boobs. Takio is confused. How his friend's condition could have turned this bad? Is it something she ate? Is it something her classmates said? I'm pretty sure it's pathetic. Takio jumps from the third floor and recounts a promise that Hanukkah made when they were young. Takio had lost a family member that day, but Hanukkah was there promising that she would always be with him. Time passes and he's happy that his friendship has gone so long. He promises Hanukkah they would be best friends and would protect her as his best friend. He wakes up on a pile of flesh as he remembers her expression that day. He remembers her smile being a little bit more sad. Filled with determination, he runs through the monstrous flesh to ask how she really feels. He finds her with only her head poking out of this blob of meat, crying. Hanukkah expresses her anger towards him. She begins to sink deeper. Takia grabs at what's left of her head and proceeds to tell her that he was at fault for not knowing how she felt. Well, he still doesn't understand what's bothering Hanukkah. Pleading to tell this quote unquote helpless man, Hanukkah finally tells Takio that she likes him. No, not friends, but more like the birds and the bees. She asks if he feels the same, but he seems to still be processing this new information. She continues to tell him that she wants a lewd relationship, like going on dates, holding hands, and even kissing. Hanukkah seems to be feeling guilty about these thoughts when Takayu surprises her. He now gets it. He then tells her his body's been telling him how he really feels this entire time. <laughs> One month later, the building is still being repaired and Hanukkah seems back to normal. She sees that her chest is now small now and asks if he prefers it when they were huge. Yes. W wait, wait. No. They share a nice moment and hold each other's hands. Whatever you look like. You will be attractive. Everything went back to normal. Until Takayo felt self-conscious about his pecker. 